Okay. Back with more Walson Lords of Mayhem. Why does my fucking UI keep popping up? Steam UI. Still doing like the first few quests, or I think the first quest. Well, yeah, I think this is probably the first quest in the game. Trying to speed through the beginning, but I'm also trying to level, so I'm slow in that aspect. So maybe it'll be worth the content for those who don't know what the game is, or just just figured out what it is. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can do like one-handed spellcasting in this. I forgot, I forgot. Time has passed and I'm very much forgetful of... That's not the right button. Very much forgetful on how all this stuff works. Didn't I level this up just now? What leveled up? It said something leveled up. Oh. Why... I can't remember how to unlock stuff. I think I gotta go talk to the the move merchant or whatever they call the ability chick. Excuse me. I don't know if uh, the the gear was originally marked as like rogue, you know, sorcerer, you know, stuff like that. But if it wasn't, then that's a good upgrade. Because I, for one. I never really know what the fuck I should put on. Like, the only thing I knew that I should wear is when I played melee and I was trying to attack. I'm like, yeah, duh, I want resistance and health. But I don't know, maybe you're meant to miss, uh, miss a mismatch. Mix. Mix and match? Mix and match? I think that's, I think that's the correct way to say Mix and match. Uh, I think that's what you're supposed to do. I don't know. This shit is meant to be played anymore, or if it has a way that it's meant to be played. Okay, it might have such a low player base to the point where it's just like, please play the game, however, <laughs> just play it. So it seems like that's a thing now. I thought before it would be, uh, your four, can I click it? Your four abilities? I thought originally they were locked. Like, I, I thought you didn't have a choice to, uh, how the hell do I remove these things from my fucking bar? Because I want this to be there now. I don't know. I don't know how the hell to get them off. Why is it? Why is this in my way? I can't fucking see. You're playing it offline. I know I'm playing it. Oh, now it's gone. Okay. Shit, wrong button. Uh, why can't I remove? Can I just make it stop being there? Or do I gotta do this? Ah, okay. That works. Um, okay, bye-bye. So this yeah, so it's like Iceland. Right. P.O.E. <coughs> Tip slow. Um, gives me the launch of the target directed to try to delay piercing enemies in his way. Not bad. We shall see. Is it is or is it not shit? I can't carry that. No. True. I also feel like this game, compared to Diablo and whatnot, it feels a lot slower. Not necessarily in a bad way, but just in general. It feels like a toned down Diablo. <laughs> Very toned down. <coughs> but it could also just be because of the beginning, but from what I remember playing it before, uh, it was in general slow. Less shit in your face 24-7 kind of thing that Diablo does. Actually, I think a Path of Exile does that a lot more than Diablo. Diablo does it, but it, it's like, I would say bad the way that Diablo does it. Because Diablo, it's like groups of enemies, or just a bunch of like random shit, small shit. Whereas Path of Exile will dump like hordes and hordes of magic 
and elite groups and all sorts of other shit. <clears throat> Which, I guess that helps, because players come to me and they might be like, oh man, this is slow, or this is boring. Like I was talking about, well, I don't remember if I was talking about that last video or this video, but I was talking about how it's slow, but in the aspect of the series, not being able to get to places fast enough. Felt, felt and still does feel pretty bad in my opinion. Oh, I can, uh, can I just immediately go to town and come back? What do I... Okay, I don't think I can... Mm, I think it brings me back. Also. Greetings, my friend. Greetings, oh, my friend. Oh, I feel like how fast I can sell shit. That's nice. There's no confirmation, which is good and bad. Good, because I can just buy it back if I want to. Bad, because what if I sell too much and poof. Assuming there is, eh, there's a scroll bar. Maybe there's a limitless amount. And it's memorized just based on your session. Pistol. <coughs> oh, it changed. There was a staff here. And the novice staff was a legendary. So I guess these just loop? Change? Hmm. Anyway. Good I already have a good bit of yeah. money. I'll wait until it becomes. Uh, uh, I haven't already done this. Oh, it's different now. Again soon. No. Why is it different now? Why did I leave that book? Weird. <coughs> um, I forgot the fuck I was saying. My memory is so goddamn short. It's upsetting. You tell me what the fuck these things are. I'm guessing that's mage and that's ranger. That's obvious ranger. So if that's mage and ranger, this is melee. Okie dokie. Silly danger in the determine the spellcasting speed, blah blah blah. Arctic spear. They're all 2000. Okie dokie. Okay, is something back to the same place? It does teleport me back to the same place. Very nice. Is that a Drake? It doesn't look like a bandit. Ah, oh, I am remember this guy, so they added him to, to, to the base Just game. Don't make any sudden moves. Forgot about who this guy. Are you exactly? Name's Ilfane. I'm out here hunting a Severe. Scorched a gang of Archeon. The Flying City. <laughs> Believe me. You're that's right. Dragon people. What? Yes, sir. Basically. I do not remember what the. Uh, I don't even call it expansion. It wasn't really a DLC. I guess I'm just gonna call it League as a graphic style. Uh, the League that they brought him in, I can't remember what the name it was, but that's for instance one of the things where it's like the devs are still trying for adding the content. And the content's not shit how you would think it would be with the with the the lack of I'm, I'm assuming lack of profit they're bringing in with how very little people are playing the game. Maybe they have other projects. Maybe they have, a, maybe they have other projects or games that I don't know about. Highly likely to change. I don't know. For a company, they're doing a pretty good job. Company or group of people or whoever that they are. <coughs> How's that? Why is that there? Okay, buggy, I guess. <coughs> the entrance uh, to I, the network. I wish well upon Seek them. I hope that they do well with this game. Do something. Maybe, maybe like one day it picks up steam again and it gets a lot better. I'm not sure. This will be up to the game I suppose. I think the major reason that it crashed and burned was because of all the exploits and people were basically infinitely rich and powerful instantly. And they didn't. I, I don't think they did anything to fix it. I think they they fixed the issues that were making people infinitely powerful, and rich, and all that jazz. But they didn't revert anything or fix anything in the aspects of people who were still rich. They still had all the things they had. There was no like. Uh, Backtracking of the they server or anything like that. Let's get to work then. 
Plus games like this that uh you mentioned the order of Ashara earlier. I've never heard of them. Not surprised. I can't remember if this game is editable through like um files. I'm pretty sure the game itself is not Ashara is a dragon. God damn, did you guys stop talking? Jesus. We're a protectors in return for her god. I can't remember if supposed to be like people can edit saves and stuff like that since so it has an offline section of the game because people would just rather just say oh let me just you know, cheat uh, push be invincible kind of sure slave I can't remember <laughs> at this point I'm just babbling because I, my thoughts are getting fucked up because I have to hear these dumbasses talk can I turn that on even more little but whatever I've said enough Let's remember why yeah. I don't know. There was a lot of reasons, more than just the initial problems of people cheating in the game. There was a lot more um, bugs and issues at the very start of the game. And it, I mean, so far I haven't ran into any, but that doesn't really mean anything. I mean, they're not there. But like I said, the game has good potential. It's still, in my opinion, it's still fun. It's just another Diablo-like, which maybe some people are over now. Or, you know, they've had their fill. And Diablo, Diablo 4 came out not super recently, but it came out. People were impressed, and then not so much because it just felt like copy pasting, and then it wasn't much to the end game. Apparently, I don't know, I didn't play it. Just from word of mouth and seeing people uh, advertise their displeasure to the game on how it is, especially how expensive it was. And then you have Path of Exile being free <laughs> and then still <laughs> competing with <laughs> Diablo-like games everywhere. They did a really good job, GGG, trying gear games for a free game that has like microtransactions, but only for cosmetics and storage increase and stuff like that. Very cool, in my opinion. I think devs should uh, see the potential of a free Diablo-like game, or free game in general, with no pay to win, but pay to pay for quality of life. Because obviously, if someone wants to buy something for the game, usually it's because that person plays the game a lot, right? They enjoy it and they want to enjoy it more. So they would they would want to pay money to make their life easier. Or in Path of Exile's uh, circumstances, it's like more storage space or cosmetics if you if you don't want to waste money on that. That's my take on that. Um, but more storage space. Very cool. Very nice. Um, but the game's free. There's no force. It's not like, hey, if you don't uh, spend money, then you're at a disadvantage. Not really the case. People who, who are spending money are doing it because they play the game so much to the point they're thinking, I might as well buy this. I'm going to use it. It's not like I'm losing anything. Increase the health. Increase the damage. <coughs> Can I change it? Oh, I can't. Cool. No purchasing. <sighs> but yeah. I don't know. That's my take on it. I think free play to game, free to play games with payments that aren't like DLC bound, like WoW and stuff like that, are really good. Increase the damage dealt. Increase the spell casting. So we want to do damage dealt. I'm monologuing while doing things, so my brain is like short circuiting because I'm fucking stupid and I can't do more than one thing at once. I think free to play with pay for convenience is a good marketing method. It's a good good thing to try in a studio company, whatever you call it, to try in their lifetime. Because I think it's I think it has really good potential, and a lot of s studios and stuff like that don't give it a try. I mean, even games that 
aren't MMOs, or aren't, uh, eh, I don't know if, I don't think Path, Path of Exile is considered an MMO. It's just a group multiplayer online, not a mass multiplayer online. But, uh, <clears throat> you have games like Fortnite and stuff like that, and Apex Legends that are free. I mean, those are Battle Royale, so that's a bit different. That's, that's another, uh, that's another group of people that are starving for a good game of their genre. So it's, it's a tad different, but the idea is the same. Free game with purchasing to keep the game going, but in the same way, even if no one purchased the excuse me, purchased the shit, um, if no one purchased a lot of skins or like characters and stuff like that, they'd still put in enough time to at some point they might have a favorite thing of this or have a favorite thing of that. And like, oh, I'm willing to, you know, drop a few bucks for a cool skin that I love this character for, kind of thing. So even if it's not just money hungry devs grabbing at every single straw they possibly can, the players are still gonna buy things, even if it's just cosmetics. So yeah, they could have made more money, but like, uh, taking Boulder's Gate for Example, their game is a full $60 game, but people are willing to buy it because it's a good fucking game. So they focused on, uh, I, think, I can't remember exactly what they said whenever they went to the little, uh, little workshop show where they were like, we focused on, not on how much money can we make, but on how good can we make the game for the players kind of thing. And they still made a shit ton of money. They could have made more, of course, but... I think the longevity of the game really relies on how good is the game, how much do my fans want to play it, so. Uh, I'm just talking and talking and talking. At this point, it's more of like a TED Talk with gameplay in the background than it is, uh, than it, than it is actual gameplay. I monologue right. play. Like right now there's not a lot going on. Not like my focus is not needed that much. I'm just kind of walking around doing shit. So tension is super important. See it said plus, like I had something, but oh wait, I didn't click the right thing. games, in my opinion, always trump the $60 games, even if it's a shitty game and it's free, I mean, as much people still play it, because it's free, there's nothing to lose, when you buy a game, there's so much, I mean, you have, you have the, the game's price and your time to lose, $60 game, you turned out shit, you lost $60, and you lost the amount of time that you put into the game to see if it wasn't shit. Some of the Call of Duty nowadays, or the the newest Battlefield, most recently. Very good example. People were not very happy with that. It's still played widely for the most part, but there were still a lot of very upset individuals with how it turned out. That's how I felt with uh. Oh shit! What game was it actually? Oh damn, I can't remember what it was. It, one of those games that had like a uh, a Kickstarter program where like you could pay to play the beta and stuff like that. It fell apart also. But that a few years ago and they they went under unfortunately. And then again, everyone wants to think that every single game that has like a Kickstarter that, that goes under, like, oh what a scam! I mean, honestly, seeing it from the perspective of how many people play nothing but mainstream games, they don't give other games a chance. Although, if a game's good enough, it doesn't need a chance to be given because they just see it as like, a hey, good gameplay. Uh, but if it's not made by, like, one of the main bigwigs out there, like Activision or Treyarch or uh, DICE, I think. 
Dice is their name, the Battlefield guys. Or Larian Studios. There are other big wigs out there. THQ. There's a lot of big game corps now, but, uh, big game companies, but you see a little, little unknown game company, you immediately think, oh, their game's probably going to be shit, so they don't get a chance, so they don't get a chance to build their game up to a functioning status. So, it, yeah, it goes under. And everyone would immediately like to assume that it was a scam. In some cases, it is. It is a method for scamming. You have people do the GoFundMe or whatever the fuck, and then they just crash and burn and take all their money. <laughs> but you can't win them all. Even the ones that, like, could have some like, amazing games doesn't mean they can be. I've been monologuing for a bit. I'm gonna try to. I can't really say lock in because there's nothing to lock in on. There's shit going on. <clears throat> Just gameplay. Game. Or actually, it's more of like a uh, monologue with a side of gameplay, not gameplay with a side of monologue. If I did a monologue, it would just be complete silence. And that's probably not going to get much views. This game by itself probably isn't going to get many views. It's, it's going to take a very niche audience to <laughs> actually get views on this video. Or videos. Depending on how many videos I can make. I'll probably make like five or so videos and then post them and take a break and see how well they do. If they do absolutely ass, like zero views over months, I'm like, yeah, I probably just want to record this game. Probably going to end up streaming Rip Dawn. I don't know about that, though. I'm not a fan of streaming. Too many things that can go wrong during streaming. Too many things, indeed. I really wish it was a way I could increase difficulty. So I've always liked it whenever uh, you get an option to increase difficulty for more loot. I'm a junkie for loot. Time. Oh, only 23 minutes, we're good. My monologuing is gotten better. Oh god, now it's quite the point you came to hear him. <laughs> Over all the other shit that's going on. Whatever this phenomenon thing is, it's making us react. Why does that happen? I don't know why my damn thing always pops it like that. I like my little summon dudes. Probably like summoning. Actually, that's, that's not true. I actually really fucking hate summoning in a lot of games. Like, I despise summoning in. Can I move, please? Uh, the summoning in Path of Exile. Really fucking hate summoning builds. I don't like summoning builds where you're just a summoner. I, I, I like summoning where it's more like I have helpers that help me, and that is that. Like, I, I'm still in the fight, I'm still a fighter, I'm still dealing damage. But in things like Path of Exile, you have to, like, full dive on one type of thing 
unfortunately. You can't, like, it's hard to hybrid shit and it not be garbage. Like a lot of Diablo style games, I feel like. But some, like Diablo itself, I think does a very good job with the Necromancer because you're still in it. You're still in the fight doing shit. Even though you have, you know, summons running around doing things. I don't know. It's like in Path of Exile, they have a. I think one time I, I actually felt value in my character when playing as a summoner was uh, when they brought out the Necro. or not the Necromancer, they brought out the Reaper. Felt good playing uh, with the Reaper on Path of Exile. But then they made it shit. Or maybe it was shit from the beginning. I didn't get far enough to the point where it was ever not good. <clears throat> These are some really fucking good early legendary items. I wish it would make that staff legendary again. But yeah, I don't, I don't like... I'm not a fan of uh, Necromancer where I'm just a dude sitting in the back and my, my summons do literally everything for me. I like that, uh, for the, uh, it probably, people probably won't know what the fuck I'm talking about, S solo leveling, Sung Jin Woo kind of, uh, necromancer, where I'm like, my summons are just helpers, basically. I am the big wig instead of the other way around. Like I'm, I'm the badass running around, cutting shit up, blowing shit up, doing whatever kind of magical voodoo shit I got to kill the enemy, while my summons are just, uh, God damn it, my summons are just bullet sponges, or just, just DPS helpers. I don't know if I need to go down this way. Probably not. No, no, okay, it's a little side thing. <coughs> Another one up. Hold on. Did you say you had a level? What the fuck, why did it say... Give me an option. Okay. Reduce the cost. Eh. <clears throat> I don't know why it's trying to put. Uh, why does it keep doing this? Keeps trying to put abilities that are not on my class, not for my class, on here. Diablo like games. Rewind all the way back to Gauntlet. Anything that could just be a continuous flow of damage was amazing. Always was. Nice. <laughs> oh, I swear they increased the or decreased the load times. Up. Pretty big chunk, he used to be fucking horrible. What the hunt? What can do first hunt each hunt and the fight? Oh, 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 I remember this. Yeah, yeah, this is, I think it's the same expansion that they, same expansion, I'm just gonna call them League, like I said I was going to before. Uh, the League that they brought in this dragon dude, this dragon riding guy. You like get, uh, tracks to go and hunt, like, stronger creatures, and depending on the ways that you the choices you make along with the hunt, you can like make that creature stronger or change how... Uh, the creature will spawn near the end and it'll be stronger or weaker depending on how you chose... Why does it keep up my Steam UI? Uh, depending on how you chose the along the way. A lot like how Path of Exile does some of their, their leads, but it's like a progressive kind of thing. 
steps along the way will make it easier or harder. And if it's harder, then it has more loot and XP, but obviously it's more dangerous because you die. And then there's easier if you can't really face certain type of damage types and stuff like that. I'm running up on 30 minutes. I'm actually at 30 minutes, so I'm going to speed. I'm just going to rush straight into it. I don't want to cut it off in the middle and pick it up later. Oh, I think I clicked too quickly and I immediately showed this one of the steps. Well, do what you can. Oh my fucking god, quit popping up him <laughs> steamy UI when I click shift. <laughs> shift tab, not shift. I'm unstoppable. It's leveling up pretty fast. Got to be a lot slower. Forgetting I can actually use them to do a special attack. Excuse me. I need more power. Standing in my way. There we go. Here's the ailment chance. What does the ailment even do? Uh. I'm. I don't know if I'm blind. I'm, I'm looking at the ailment, but it doesn't say what the fuck it does. What damage type does it even do? It says average damage. Doesn't seem to have an ailment type. I don't fucking know. Figure it out later. Like I said, trying to speed it up. Doing a very bad job at it, though. Oh god, it's I still got it. Okay, never mind. We're, we're here. We're here. Okay, I'm gonna end the video off. Well, yeah. How long is the video? Nah, I'll keep it to the end of the boss fight. I'll keep it to the end of the boss fight. No reason to cut it off when I'm literally at the final boss. Okay. That one is scary. Big boy. I've been waiting. Okay, so maybe it just buffs the final boss? Not I thought it had its own boss to spawn. He is not that strong. <laughs> the what the now? fuck? Why was he so weak? Oh damn. I wish Val had heard that one. Weird. Glad that's maybe over. they Should be balance the things that's a that's lot so differently. <laughs> yeah, okay, well that was a horribly uneventful final boss fight. I hope it's bad genuinely god damn it. I hope they make him stronger. It's not just going to be a steamroll. I mean, like I said, I do want to speed run through the story, but I also don't want to, like, it be useless. I don't know, maybe I just chose a good spec, or maybe it's because I've just dumped all my points into ferocity, so my damage is actually pretty high. A lot higher than it should be. But yeah, that's that. 
Like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'm still up for the suggestion of whether or not the, the people who do watch this want it to be 30 minutes or an hour long. Uh, like I said in my last video, I'm probably going to repeat it for all of my, what, probably five videos that I'm going to end up making of this. And then, like I said, if I don't really get much feedback or positive views or anything like that, after posting like five videos after a designated amount of time, I probably just won't post anymore. Unless there's some people that like genuinely want to see this, even if you're small in numbers, or if it's literally one person, I don't give a shit. I'll play this if one person wants to view every single one of these videos. Why not? But yeah, it's up to you guys. <laughs> like and subscribe if you want to see more. Like I said, I'll see you in the next one, or I won't if you don't want to see more. Bye bye.